Only on KSL, a West Jordan family that is used to helping others could actually use a little help themselves. They were involved in an accident earlier this week. Three years ago, they spoke with our new specialist, Alex Cabrero, about their story on their lemonade stand. He joins us live in West Jordan tonight. And Alex, they usually donate that money to various different causes from that lemonade stand. Yeah, they certainly do, Dee Every single penny they get, they donate. It's why their lemonade stand has become a popular spot here in West Jordan. In the summertime, people like to go out there, especially when they hear about how that lemonade st stand started. That's the story we did three years ago, but the story today is the family can now use some help. You don't need a meteorology to grieve to know it's been really hot. Miley Manson doesn't like those 100 degree days to where I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> I don't know. But she and her siblings keep going outside in that heat, setting up their lemonade stand to do something really cool. I just know that I can be saving someone's life. We did a story on their efforts three years ago in their West Jordan neighborhood. They sell lemonade to raise money in honor of their sister Mackenzie who passed away four years ago while waiting for a heart and kidney transplant when she was just 14 years old. So proud they have helped so much. They've raised over $27,000 in the last four years. They donate that money to different groups like Donor Connect, which helps with organ donations. In fact, the family was just at Donor Connect to give them a $3,000 check, but on their way home, were involved in an accident where the other driver failed to yield. Everyone is okay, but their van... They're probably going to total it, unfortunately, and it's our family car. Even though they could use the money, the Madsons say they will continue donating because it's what Mackenzie believed in. It's good for us and our family to be able to do that for her. And because of how much they do for Donor Connect, the organization asked us if we could do a follow-up story on the Madsons, especially since the family could use some help now, which they're not used to because we like to do the helping. <laughs> That's what we do and try to do. Like, it doesn't always work, but we try to. That's tough for that family to admit that they could use a little help now as well. Another family member has set up a GoFundMe page to try and help them get a new van. We are putting a link to that page on our website version of the story on KSLTV.com. Mike and Didi. What they've done over the years is incredible, Alex. I it would really love is. to see how you follow it up when they get their van. You got it. Thanks.